people like Picasso. Uh, in, uh, it's uh, um, uh, quite extraordinary the amount of play that comes in with his work. Um, I think his intention nearly all his life was to keep reverting back to a childlike fascination with play and treating the creative area as a play area. Um, I think a lot of the best art, musical or visual, comes out of a sense of uh, amazement and a sense of uh, uh, discovery, you know, that, that comes from being a little lighter about it. A real quantum leap for me is that I was moving from um, a, a latent uh, uh, passion for soul music into uh, a new kind of technology the beginnings of what would eventually be referred to as industrial. Um, and I think for me there was a, a real um, excitement in trying to, to combine the two elements. Um, and I think that's probably what we were heading for. Uh, I think the, the station the station was really embracing what was happening in Dusseldorf at the time, in seven, around 75. Um, what was coming out of there uh, with bands like Kraftwerk and Neu, Harmonium, Cluster and uh, Can. I like the atmosphere there a lot. Uh, and also it was so barren outside. There were, it was uh, a bummed out area of Berlin and I felt there was a real tension. The wall was there. Um, being of a, a depressed state of mind at the time, it appealed to me tremendously. I felt I'm home. <laughs> it was a real change of working methods, working in hand. So there was, uh, Brian brought to my way of working uh, uh, a more fully applied approach of uh, breaking things down and fragmenting ideas and being less concerned with uh, a more conservative structure and, and deconstructing things. And it was a great learning period for me. It was a bit like having an art teacher uh, or a, concept, uh, a conceptualist teacher, um, which is very much how Brian works. He kind of works in the role of uh, mentor, conceptually. It, and still is. Yeah, it, it, it kind of got, I, I guess, uh, overlooked in its way. I think Low and Heroes became the two predominant albums. Maybe because they're a bit more accessible in their own way. Um, but I found Lodger is actually the more interesting of the three albums. I think it, 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 it laid the seeds of, of some real interesting ideas. Prefer to go on your own. It was such a rushed, speedy enterprise. I mean, we came off the road at the end of the last tour. And uh, within a matter of days, we were in the studio making the album. Um, and there wasn't anybody around. I just did it. <laughs> as simple as that. There was no, it wasn't premeditated in any way, it just it sort of happened. If it came too quickly from, from the outside, from the tour van, then you should be in the studio again. And uh, I, I love the fact that we were sort of, we, we didn't think and just rushed in and, and made an album because we were excited by our sweet selves. Uh, we thought we were uh, at, at a particular energetic peak at the end of the festival tour last year. And we wanted to capture that, almost like a sonic photograph in some form. Um, and I think it was just important that we get the energy down on, on, uh, on tape as fast as possible. So it was done with that kind of impetus. Uh, it, was, it was a good thing to do, wasn't it? <laughs> I think so. It's in a lollipop festival Yeah, to play. I'm very excited about doing that. We had a great time last, last year. I think we were working with, it was Dave Matthews' band, wasn't it? We were working in, last time we came to Sweden, um, on the festival last year? No, it was Denmark. I think it was Roskilde. Oh, was that Roskilde? Yeah. Roskilde in Denmark. I don't know, so many, so many uh, festivals we did last year. But we're doing even more this year. We're doing, God, I don't know, nearly 30 festivals now, yeah. over, the, over Europe. And what kind of songs will you play on this, this tour? Big, long, fat ones, with uh, great big tentacles on. Mm. Those kind of songs. <laughs>